Now, I know I'm unfashionably late to be responding to a video that's over three weeks old, but it was around the holiday season with Christmas and New Year's. It just didn't feel right to be a big old meanie to another YouTuber around that time. But the holidays are over, and it's now open season on Lying Snakes. Hey, you know what? No, fuck it. This isn't worth the intro. Downward Frust. Mr. Tone Loke, I honestly couldn't believe when you uploaded this video that you had the fucking gall to pawn off your cancerous trend, your false narrative that you propagated, that you spread, and there's mountains of evidence proving such. Single player games have died, basically. Single player games are so rare today because being a single player gamer in 2018 can be challenging. Some say it's a time of having to scrounge for a good single player game that they are going the way of the dodo. The death of the single player campaign. AAA single player games are not safe just yet. The death of the linear video game. Why modern video games suck. I'm honestly flabbergasted at the positive response of this video. That people are so easily manipulated or have the shortest goddamn memories. Downward Frust, Tone Loke, you have been the one saying that single player narrative based games are dead and dying. And you're trying to shift the blame and criticism for your lies over to EA? I can't believe it's actually working. Anyone with any basic rationality and anyone who does a shred of research will know that the Electronic Arts CEO and CFOs are full of shit. That what they're stating is not based off of facts or statistics. It's corporate doublespeak. It's them attempting to assure their shareholders. The numbers are available to the public to see that single player video games are both popular and financially viable. They're just not as popular or as financially successful as multiplayer video games. Point is, whatever bullshit EA CEOs and CFOs spew out is irrelevant. It does not affect the games industry whatsoever. But the new narrative you're trying to spin, Downward Frust, Mr. Tone Loke, is that EA was the one solely cultivating the single player is dying trend. I beg to motherfucking differ. Single player games have died. Basically, single player games are so rare today because being a single player gamer in 2018 can be challenging. Some say it's a time of having to scrounge for a good single player game that they are going the way of the dodo. No, 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 no. I'm not letting this slide. Sure, I've taken my cheap shots, my pot shots at you throughout my videos over the past several months, but I'm addressing you directly here, Downward Frust, Tone Loke. You don't get to pawn off the responsibility and the consequences of your lies. This video shouldn't be titled, The Year EA Got Shit On By The Gaming Industry. This was the year Downward Frust got shit on by the gaming industry. As the majority of claims you have made over the past year have been proven demonstrably false, or extremely over-exaggerated. So halfway through 2018, almost six months ago, you were getting called out on your bullshit, and you swore you were gonna change and improve, but you haven't. You're doing the same shit. You're still lying. And Tone, Mr. Loke, I don't understand why you lie. They're such petty and frivolous lies, so easily disproven by a quick Google search. Other YouTubers don't need to lie to be successful. Look at Skillup. Look at Young Yeah. You can report on video game industry bullshit without telling lies. I don't know why you go out of your way to tell lies. And why you're obsessed with this particular lie that single player video games are dead or dying or rare. Google, man! All I have to do is a quick Google search. Type in video games in X year, and you'll see there's literally hundreds. Hundreds of single player video games that get released each and every year. Of course, they're not all AAA. There's a ton of middle market and indies, but there's nothing wrong with that. AAA video game publishers and developers are not obligated to appeal mostly to single player gamers. It would be both ridiculous and curious if they did since the multiplayer market is so massive, so much bigger. Now, I prefer single player and co-op PvE experiences over PvP experiences, but if we're being objective, if we're being realistic, if you're at the head of a big video game company, you'd be insane to not chase popular multiplayer trends. That's why we have passionate middle market and independent developers to pick up the single player slack and appease that part of the market. But for some reason, when it comes to you, Downward Frust, Mr. Tone Loke, unless it's a super popular indie game that's getting some traction on YouTube, 
you ignore it. It doesn't matter to you. And the thing is, there's actually nothing wrong with that. You're free to like what video games you like and have your personal preferences and appeals. But then you try to twist things because AAA video game publishers aren't personally appeasing you with AAA single player video games you then go around and say, the entire genre's dying, or in danger, or entries are now all of a sudden rare. Why are you lying, Tone? Just be honest and admit you prefer AAA single-player linear video games. There's nothing wrong with that. There's many that agree with you and have those same preferences. So I don't get why you lie, why you go out of your way to lie. I know you have the capability to be a good content creator, Tone, but you keep sabotaging yourself. Just one year ago, the industry was under the impression that perhaps the death of the single-player game was actually a reality. Eh, wrong. Outside of the disenfranchised, the delusioned, the ignorant, no one fought this! You are making shit up! Today, single-player games are most certainly relevant, important, and very successful. Huh, that's weird. I could have swore I heard you saying the exact fucking opposite. Single player games have died, basically. Single player games are so rare today because being a single player gamer in 2018 can be challenging. Some say it's a time of having to scrounge for a good single player game that they are going the way of the dodo. Why are you so blatantly contradicting yourself? Look, Tone, if your opinion has changed, if you were ignorant, when you made your previous older videos, making these claims about single player, well, Update them! Clarify that your opinions have been changed, that you were ignorant to the subject. But no, 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 that would be the mature adult thing to do. Instead, you're gonna use EA as a scapegoat and try to pin all the bullshit you spread on them. Now I grant you this, EA are full of shit and they deserve to get shit in return, but they should get shit on for the shit they actually do. This is just such a slimy, slivering, snake thing for you to do, Mr. Loke. You can't just admit that you were wrong about single-player games. Instead, you try to pin it on a Fall Guy, an easy mark, a sucker. Tone, I try so hard to give you the benefit of the doubt, video to video. Because I know you have the potential to be a good content creator. I'm doing my damnedest here to not presume that you're being malicious. That you are willingly and knowingly deceitful. I want to believe that this is just ignorance, a misunderstanding, miscommunication. But you make the latter option so hard for me to believe in. But then I see videos like your Why Chrono Cross was one of the best games ever and I'm like, holy shit, he's not chasing a trend. He's talking about something he's genuinely passionate about and cares about. And then I see stuff on your second channel, Upward Strike, like Why Vanilla Wow was so memorable. And it's an hour of you talking with a friend, a buddy, about your World of Warcraft experiences and you sound actually human and not a robot that just regurgitates the opinions of Reddit gaming. Tone, you seem to me like a content creator in conflict with themselves. There are hints, there are spots of your actual passion for gaming, but it's drowned out by you trying to chase the money, chasing after and regurgitating popular trends and opinions. I do believe that's something you need to resolve within yourself. Whether you want YouTube to be more of a job solely for the money or a passionate hobby you care about. There's actually nothing wrong with one or the other, but you give me the impression you don't know what you want. But that's a whole separate topic when compared to your lying. The pointless, bizarre lying. And you want to know why, Tone, I take such issue with this? It's because I've had former fans of your channel come over to my channel, watch my videos, and tell me how disappointed in themselves they were that they believed your lies, that they believed you were being upfront and honest, and ended up missing out on so many awesome video games that have been coming out the past couple years. Because they trusted you, they believed you when you said single-player games were dying and the entire video game industry is nothing but doom and gloom. Your lies caused needless petty suffering. Granted, it's not scarring or serious physical or psychological suffering, but it is needless and unwarranted sadness, depression, anger, frustration caused by your spread of misinformation. Tone, have you ever truly stopped and reflected on why the Rainbow Six Siege community and the Warframe community got so pissed at you when you made your original video saying that these games have a problem or that they're doomed and dying in any sort of way? They were pissed at you because your videos were misinforming people and possibly influencing people to not experience these games and not experience the joy and happiness those games can bring. People were pissed at you because you were unnecessarily creating misery and denying happiness. You say at the end of almost all your videos, 
Peace, love, and happiness until then. And yet the majority of your content is the exact opposite of that. Ugh. All I want from you, Tone, is to stop lying. Please stop lying. I'm not asking you to move mountains here. Just please stop lying. Now before I end this video, if you're a fan of Downward Frost and you came to this video from his channel, I request and recommend that you watch this video of mine right here, there'll be a link in the description and in the comment section. In this video I showcase over 19 middle market and indie single player games, as well as some multiplayer here and there, just some genuinely good quality games that YouTuber Downward Frost has blatantly ignored and not informed you of. Anyways, that's been a video. For those of you who have watched to the end, thank Thank you, I hope you garnered something positive out of this video, and whether you agree or disagree with me or Downward Frust, I request that you refrain from acting like a cunt. But do meme away in the comment section. Typical end of video spiel, that's been a video, I'll see you all later.